Have you ever noticed mysterious damage in your walls or woodwork and wondered, what's causing it? Could it be termites? Or maybe carpenter ants? These wood-destroying invaders can cause some serious damage if left unchecked. But the good news is, with a little knowledge, you can tell them apart and know exactly what to do next. Today, let's break down the real differences between termite and carpenter ant damage and why knowing which pest you're dealing with can save you time, stress, and a whole lot of money. 1. The look-alikes, but not quite. At first glance, termites and carpenter ants may seem pretty similar. They both chew through wood, both swarm in spring, and both can quietly wreck your home structure. But if you look closer at the damage and the bugs themselves, you'll spot some key differences. Let's talk bodies. Carpenter ants have a narrow, pinched waist. Think of that classic ant shape. Termites? They're more uniform, with a long, rectangular body that looks the same from head to tail. Check the antennae too. Carpenter ants have bent, elbowed antennae. Termites? Theirs are straight, almost like a tiny string of beads, and wings. Yes, both pests have two sets. But a termite's wings are the same length and much longer than its body. Carpenter ant. Wings are more balanced, with the back pairs slightly shorter. Even color can give clues. Carpenter ants are usually black or dark brown, but can also be reddish or yellow. Termites? Their workers are often creamy white or translucent, but some species can range to dark brown or black. 2. Spot the swarmas. Most homeowners won't first notice the bugs or the damage, they'll notice the swarmas. These are the winged members of the colony, and they show up when it's time to reproduce. Carpenter ant swarmas often fly at night, looking for food. You might see them hanging out near sweets, fruit, or even pet food. Termites, on the other hand, are sneakier. They usually stay hidden inside their tunnels. But during swarming season, especially spring, you might see discarded wings near windowsills or doorways. That's a red flag. If you see wings, there's a colony nearby. 3. Telltale Tunnels Here's where things get really interesting. The tunnels they leave behind. Carpenter ants don't eat wood. They just dig through it to make room for their nests. So, the tunnels they leave are smooth, clean, and almost polished, like someone carved them out with care. Termites? Totally. Different story. They do eat the wood, and they're messy about it. Their tunnels are rough, filled with mud, wood bits, and insect waste. They even mix soil into the mess. If it looks gritty and dirty, that's probably termite damage. 4. Mud tubes equals termites. One of the easiest giveaways for termites is the presence of mud tubes. These are little shelter tunnels they build on the outside of your home to protect their thin skin from sunlight. If you see pencil-sized mud trails running up your foundation, siding, or walls, that's a sign of subterranean termites. Carpenter ants don't build anything like this. They simply move through cracks and crevices. 5. Frass versus Sawdust Droppings can also tell the story. Termites produce what's called frass, a mix of wood particles, insect parts, and waste. Drywood termite droppings often look like tiny grains of salt and pepper, and if you zoom in, they're oval-shaped with six sides. Carpenter ants, on the other hand, kick out small piles of sawdust from their tunnels. It's often mixed with soil and insect parts. If you see powdery piles near wood, it could be carpenter ants. 6. Where they like to nest Another clue? Where they like to live, carpenter ants are fans of moisture. They'll nest in damp wood, around sinks, tubs, roof leaks, and anywhere water damage has softened the wood. Termites vary by type. Subterranean and damp wood termites also prefer moist environments. But dry wood termites? As the name suggests, they're perfectly happy in dry, solid wood, like your attic beams or old furniture. 7. Who's more destructive? So which pest is worse? While both can cause expensive damage, termites are the real homewreckers. Because they actually eat the wood 24-7, the destruction piles up fast. Carpenter ants can still be trouble, but since they're just hollowing out space for nests, the damage tends to be slower and less obvious. Still, either one can cost thousands in repairs. The sooner you act, the better. 
8. When to call the pros. If you suspect termites or carpenter ants, it's best not to play guessing games. Calling a trusted pest control company, like Terminix or Orkin, can save you from a much bigger headache down the road. Professionals know how to identify the exact pest, and they have the tools to get rid of them fast. Termites may need bait stations or chemical treatments. Carpenter ants might just need their food source removed, but both require a trained eye. Bottom line? If you spot damage, swarming insects, mud tubes, or mysterious sawdust piles, don't wait. A quick call to the pros could protect your home and your wallet. Thanks for watching Fresh Home 24 channel. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button, subscribe for more home tips, and drop a comment if you've ever dealt with termites or ants. Until next time, stay alert, stay informed, and keep your home safe.